children, we have very little inhibition to try new things. But somehow as we grow up, we're more afraid just to put ourselves out there. It sounds great, I wish I knew how to play it. <laughs> I teach at Sanford University Center for Computer Research in Music and Acoustics. We hope to add to the collective biomass of music making on this planet. I actually started Stanford Laptop Orchestra. Almost this absurd collision between the orchestra and Do you mind computers. The and getting the lights refocused on the players a little bit more. There's always a moment in time when an instrument is first introduced. The computer is just one of the new technologies of our time. The mobile phone today is the most intimate computer that we've ever had in 2008. I co-founded Smuel, a startup company to get people to make music. The ocarina was our first musical instrument. Four days within launch, it became the number one selling app in the US and like 20 other countries. Most of our users, they weren't musicians. Just simply people who love music. God has recognized that music is at an inflection point. Can we in fact democratize the process of bringing everyone into music? Do you, Do you want, want to try this? this? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I'll try it all day long. I am T-Pain. It was an app to bring auto-tune to your iPhones. Snap your fingers. Do your step. You can do it all by yourself, baby girl. You know, sing about anything. I live in third and mission yo yo. We also did Glee Karaoke. We had a feature where you could actually join another performance that you heard in the world. In the wake of the earthquake and tsunami disasters in Japan, a woman started a rendition of Lean On Me from, from Tokyo and invited, started inviting her friends to join. Now we actually have a rendition that's sung together at different times by 4,000 strangers around the world. Can we make music together as, as people on this planet in ways that you can never have done before without computers? Yeah.